Okay, we're behind the legislator. The reason we're behind is the issues I'm going to talk about. It looks like the government, or should I say the bureaucrats, don't want to talk about it. Last week, the house was open for one week. Wasn't bad though, wasn't bad. I find that the Blaine Higgs government are being open. And that's a good thing. I mean, I go usually I go after them with my camera. And they jump and jump like deers and bucks and does. Jump over the ice with their high heels and head for the sanctuary place. And I could just ask two or three questions and they don't have to answer, but that's good because I can answer my own questions. Now, they did answer my questions. My issue was really bad. I got distracted last week when they said the language commissioner is going to get 250,000 more than the half the $500,000 he already has. That's how much it costs to run the department. Half a million dollars. But then I was told every welfare check was going to be reduced. Well, that got me upset because it has not, nothing to do with me. Because I'm sure if I go on the street, ah, ah, I'm hungry. I need food. Food. My God. There'll be all kinds of food. There'll be about 500 bucks of craft dinner at my door. Nobody goes hungry in front of them. Now, but to have little babies to go hungry, and a lot because a language commissioner needs money. That's the thing. A language commissioner, which I asked Michel Carrier for an interview, he refused to talk to me. So we see what Catherine Dautremont did. Anyway, okay, Charles, focus. We're, this is like this week in politics. So the issue there, it was so bad. Dorothy Shepherd says she'll talk to me, a one on one. And uh, Blaine Hayes came out had a 10 minute little rant, me and him, and everybody went home happy. Now, the other issue, we're gonna cut front, hey, we're gonna cut fans. We're gonna cut front this week is prisoners forcing to walk home. Now, we have racist, fascist bureaucrats at public safety. They're all former cops from the Fredericton Police Force and other agencies around the province. Now, Carl Urquhart is a little bit more open than Denis Landry. Denis Landry laughed at female prisoners forced to walk home in the snowstorm. The Liberal Party made themselves very clear. They went, bravo, bravo. Liberals can go. Anyway, never mind. When we have a party that supports poor people to have them killed, have, we got no need, no need for people like that. But Carl Urquhart is trying to be politically correct and saying, we, we won't drive them home. After the sentence is done, we're not gonna drive them home. That's the message they want to put to the public. We're not gonna drive them home. Of course we're not gonna drive them home. They'll be goddamn crazy. Boy, I have to swear that it must be because it's Sunday, the day of the Lord. Um, we want them to be returned to the place they were sentenced. If they were sentenced in Burton, you drive them, the sheriff, back to Burton. If they're sentenced to Fredericton, you bring them back to Fredericton where they were sentenced. You just don't open the door in Miramichi, Edmiston, Shidiac, St. John and say, your sentence is done. Go out, you don't even know where, where you're at. I even had a video of a guy with a, met, with a disability walking with a walker and hitchhiking back home to Miramichi. I have the video, I got the proof, that's what's going on. So we really haven't pushed the issue. I'm gonna have to talk to the People Alliance and the Green Party. Number one, the issue of prisoners, they should bring them back here. This is funny, during an election, I brought it up. I brought it up during the all-candidate meeting. 
Oh my God, they all cried. They were all candidates. They, oh my God, this is so wrong. This is so wrong. But once the election is done, they continue to do what they're doing. So why um, the issue, we're gonna push it, I'm gonna ask the MLAs, what's their opinion on prisoners forcing to walk home, especially females. And the video here is too long. Prisoners dying behind bars. In Ontario, they just announced there was an inquest, a coroner inquest of prisoners dying behind bars. But here in New Brunswick, we don't have that. Uh, uh, Caroline Warnock, uh, Tyler, Tyler Sweeney, and there's all kinds that died behind bars and they're forgotten because they did the awful crime of riding a bicycle with no helmet and then they were forced to go to jail because they couldn't pay, pay the fine. I'm not saying that's the reason they were in jail, but that's where it goes. Uh, one more thing. So there's four, four weeks left. I'm going to be chasing the politicians the next four weeks on the street. And one more question. Why do I get involved in these things? Why?